Welcome out, everybody. Welcome out to the studio. I have an incredible guest today. You can't quite see him. Dan, uh, we're trying to, you know, stay, you know, do the thing. Uh, but uh, really just a, a very respected and well-known guitarist here. Uh, we worked together, um, gosh, with the Tom Grant Band and with uh, a long time ago, you know. Yeah, a bunch of different things over the years. I mean, if I think about, you know, starting when you were really young. You know, yes. We did, and we did, you know, concerts and, you know, dances and, you know, private parties and duets out in the woods i remember playing a wedding somewhere like we were out oh, out in the hills you know do you remember the first time that we actually met do you recall was it uh, i think i think you were playing with the tom grant band and and he had just hired me for for uh like an outdoor concert it was like it was like at that uh taste oh. of beaverton or uh -huh, something uh -huh. something like that you know but um hey i tell you what just getting into it i'm gonna we're gonna be creative and just uh play it by ear i'm gonna play a song um off my last record, and then we're going to get into some stuff with Dan and I, okay? So we had some people asking for this song called Lines Cross. So I'm going to play one song, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Th and then we're going to jump into it, everybody, okay? So right. hope, hope you guys enjoy it. So here we go. This is called Lines Cross. Everybody, welcome out. I hope you can uh, hear me and see us. We got the incredible Dan Balmer. This is kind of my 
It's like the Saturday Night Live show when you do the song and in- introing the. Uh... everybody hey hit that love button and hey, make sure to share that video and uh, we have an incredible guest today uh, a musician that so many people look up to and he has his own records out and uh, we've been uh, working together off and on for for many years I guess uh, starting with one of my first gigs with a Tom Grant band I haven't talked to him in a long time so I'm not, not sure what he's up to but at any case it's great to be here we get to play some music and today is just going to be kind of like unplugged. Usually I have a whole thing full of uh, all the different music that um, that uh, that I've been working on over the last few months here in the lockdown. Now we're all playing music from our living room, right? So, hey, Dan, why don't you pick up the mic a little bit? Let me let me get let me get this going here. So, Dan Bomber, welcome welcome to the show. I never well, thought I was I, nice to be on your show. Thank you. I never thought I would have a show. Yeah, well, but you, this is you know live from your live from your pad. No, you know, everybody's playing from their living room yeah. and now. Know, but at I've least been recording at le- stuff at home on the Garage Band, just in, and you know, just doing live streams, you know, and and it's it's nice to get to make music together. Yeah. I'm what what kind of, of uh, these machines? Do you have a home studio set up at your place or not so or much. no? No. Not so much, but I can do you know, so I can do Garage Band. I can record you know, so I've just been recording ideas and stuff. But I leave the studio stuff to people who are. You know, who are, you're good at figuring things out. I'm not that good at figuring things out. Well, so you're, you're, but you're, tinkerers, you, know, you know, you're a producer. You've produced uh, who? That's another Tasha, person yeah. that I that I work with you on. Uh, yeah, Tasha, Tasha Miller. Miller's yeah, record. That, yeah. Beautiful sounding record. If you haven't checked it out, but you you um, produce some some pretty uh, some pretty great stuff. Oh, thank you. You know, well, so. you know, good musicians make producing easy. Right on. Well, you know, we are just totally unplugged. We're hanging out at the studio, Studio Live at 7. We're just going to start playing some songs that we like. Yes. And uh, so we went over a list of about 437 songs we that we songs. might choose from. Yeah. And we came up uh, with uh, a song. Uh, gosh, how about, let's pull it out of the hat. How about uh, Someday My Prince Will Come? Okay, that's a beautiful Does that, one. Does that sound like a good one? All right, everybody. Well, look, welcome out. Uh, if you are just getting here, uh, please uh, share, subscribe. Make sure to hit the like button and, uh, you know, all, you know, all that stuff. Uh, just have fun. Uh, sit back. Uh, relax. And we're going to I know I'm going to enjoy it. So so uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. 
How about that, everybody? <laughs> Dan Balmer uh, playing the guitar. Uh, we're we're hanging out here at the here at the here at the pad. It's That's like what we we're do. We're at a gig. Yeah. Playing a duo. We've done some duo gigs lately, and they've been a blast. And it's like we're doing a duo gig at your pad. That's right. We you know with our little window to the world, which which is great. Hey, Cheryl Seifert, and uh, say hello to some people. Uh, here, you pick a couple. Dan, uh, John, leaving good. Hey, there's Shannon. Hey, Shannon. And Drew, I'm I'm taking those. You you taking those? I'm taking okay. those. Uh, John Liebengood. Yeah, man. And uh, Cheryl Seifert, Drew Forrester, welcome out. Uh, Thank you for joining us. Yeah, it's great. So, so how about um, a song that we like? We both like to play called Little Sunflower. You like okay, the song? We'll do it. Okay. Hey, welcome out, everybody. Hit that uh, hit that love button. It's called Little Sunflower. <laughs> Thank you. 
that mic. Yeah, man. Back to the mic. Oh, my gosh. It's Mark J. <coughs> Mark J., what's Bring happening? Bring your accordion. Mark, I got an accordion for Christmas and a broken one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So anyway, Mark's saying, should he bring his accordion and join us? Ah, uh, what the heck, God, Mark? I would say yes. Where are you, Come Mark with. Jelinski, A great, great guy. A great and uh, I was just thinking about you because I was teaching somebody how to play the "Summer Wind" the other day. You know that old song, that "Summer song. Wind." Oh my gosh, that's a nice old yeah. for the Notre tune. Anyway, anyway, enough about enough about Mark. Good to see you, Mark. Talk to us about what you what you've been doing in the you know it's a good topic. Uh, what what's how do we make lemons out of uh, lemonade out of lemons? Lemonade you know of, how, how are well, you doing that? Yeah, boy, it, I think for every artist, I think about the creative people. I mean, I think about how many how much music we haven't made. You know how many how much how many gigs we haven't played, how many solos we haven't played, how many audiences we haven't touched, and uh, that's a that's a loss. You know, I, I think particularly I just want to say for the performing artists. I mean, if you're a writer, you know, people are buying books. You know, if you're a, an actor on TV, people are watching TV. But for your local theater actor, your musician, performing musician, your dancer, your ballet dancer, whatever. You know, this has been, you know, a great loss culturally. We've lost all this art that didn't get produced. And I think everybody is, uh, you know, hunkered down at home trying to keep keep the spirit going, you know. And like we're doing this. We did your we did a concert with the Christmas concert that was great that we did a lot. Oh, yeah, we had Alan stream. Jones. And yeah, what a band. Phil Baker. Yeah, and uh, Steve Christopherson. Great. So, I mean, I think we're all – so I've been I've been practicing – uh, I've been practicing the guitar and I teach, you know, so I've been teaching a lot and that's fine. And I love that. And I love playing with my students. You know, we get to play. I have good students, but boy, uh, you know, like you, we're trying to keep body and soul and spirit together. I mean, it's not, it's not the, you know, it's not the money. Of course we miss the money from the gigs, but it's the hanging out and the, and the making music that, and so it's, you know, these things like this are very important. The live stream is really important. You know, on a positive tip. So the other side of that coin, um, uh there's there's an opportunity in every difficulty. At least I find that that in life. So, for me, I've been able to like learn how to use Pro Tools, yeah. learn, learn how to use. I work with digital performer with Gina yeah. Vanelli, and then I work with uh, Pro Tools with people in LA. And so, really, just uh, turning this into some kind of study hall for yourself. Yeah, exactly. It's been a good, seems like a, a some good classical thing. guitar a little bit, and working on my reading. So yeah, there's up. I mean, uh, you know, I don't, there's there's upside, and and it, it, you got to dig deep though. Are your students let me ask you this. Are your students, they, are they paying more attention to you or less? Like, like okay, before COVID and post-COVID, are the students uh, coming in like more prepared now or is it just still the same? You well, know, I have you know? good, st- I have lucky, I've, I have fortunate, but I, will, I have students who are, are serious, but I will say at Lewis and Clark College where I teach the jazz combos, I mean, we've had the jazz combos playing and the kids have never, they've been so focused. Nobody, I think one, you know, Everybody was on time. Nobody missed a class. They were so glad to be together and so glad to be making music. And I was making that possible by running the class. And uh, I've never seen people so committed to, like, each other and making the music. And and so that's a beautiful thing. I think people are. And I know whenever I play any kind of little gig, and I've, you know, I've played a few little outdoor things, casuals, I'm sure you have too, and people are just like, oh, We've missed it so much, you know. We miss you guys, and and there's that feeling. So there's some, there's some love out there. I'm gonna keep asking. So this different versions of this question, but what can we do? Like for like for me, it's been study hall. Yeah. You know what can, uh, what can your students or people people do? See, there's there's always a different side of the coin. Yeah, right. You know, it's like, well, I'm stuck at home, so. You know, I can learn a new skill. Right. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, I've, like you know, I say, and I've been getting down with GarageBand, which is a low level of what you're doing here. But I've been, you know, I've got the, got the, you know, I can, I, I've got a, Clay Iverson let me a, a thing to plug into. And, and uh, so I've been putting down some little tunes that I've never done before. Play some bass, play some keys, put down a drum track. So I've been doing some of that, which is, this is what you're talking about. And for students, I mean, for young people, uh, you know, they've got plenty to work on. You know, they're not performers necessarily like we are. So I think everybody's practicing hard, you know, and, and mm-hmm. getting ready for what when they can get out and play for people and play together. I mean, that's what people miss. Oh, yeah. Do you think this is going to – what do you think will be different, like, once, you know, this all turns around, we're all back out there, uh, everybody's – however vaccinated, however yeah. this all pans out. Yeah. Like, what – do you think there will be a different I, I'm sure, appreciation, you know, I do you think? think? I, I think people – I do think people miss their music of all kinds, you know, miss their life. Or do you think it's just human nature to just quickly forget? You I know? hope not. I mean, I think it's – what do you think? Enough about me. Uh, I th- well, I think I think people are going to have a greater appreciation and uh, performers yeah. and everybody that's 
uh, oriented around that industry, you know, which is um, actually millions of, of people. Right. You know, we have sound people and right. and uh, servers people. and production and right. event uh, teams right. and managers and, uh, you know, just all um, – uh, all at a stop right now, so I think we'll all have a renewed appreciation. Yeah. Hopefully, no, I think people are hungry. Out. You know, people are hungry, and and we will get we'll get through this and we'll get it going. But it will, you know, it will be there will be some change. You know, certain places, or certain types of places. Who knows? Clubs will maybe be different. You know, maybe yeah. a while before people all want to cram into a crowded basement. Yeah. You know, and sit at tables with people they don't know, and have people bringing them drinks, and you know, yeah. it may take a little. It may take a different form, but that's you know, society's always done that. Well, I just I think uh, at the end of the day, you got to choose uh, when you wake up in an environment like this. You got to choose choose the positive every day because you know just make every a middle, day is a middle blessing. choice. Every day is a blessing. Yeah, you'd be thankful every day. And on that note, uh, we're gonna play another song. Yay. I think. Uh, what do you think of that song, Body and Soul? Oh boy, that's like, you like one that song? It's in my top ten. Yeah, top ten list. Okay. Well, hey everybody, if you're just getting here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit the like button. Write write some comments in there. Don't be shy. We're here to play some music for you. So I hope you uh, hope you enjoy it. Take it away, Dan.
fun i mean that's what we miss that's what i miss getting to make music with someone that was great to have some people checking us out and watching it's nice to be here thank you tell, tell us a little bit about your history so when i was when i was coming up you were playing with uh tom grant yes and uh i heard about these the different clubs that were here before i came out the scene there was uh what was the one you well, guys had a steady cousins, gig? We used to play at Cafe Vivo, cousins, Ramos, Delavans, uh, but there was uh, you know a lot of a lot of a lot of clubs. How many clubs were actually going? Do you think when you know, when, when there was, was a healthy the music scene? Quarry back in the day, and uh, so there was more jazz back in the day, but uh, um, and uh, more bands playing jazz. Uh, and so when I was coming up, there was a lot of a lot of jazz going on, and I was in the Tom Grant band, and that was a really popular band, and then. I remember, uh, and, I, and I've always played with a lot of different people, so I toured with Diane Schur, who's somebody you played with from a very young age, and I played with Diane for four years, and you played with her off and on for a long time, because you played with her when you were really young. 
Like, I think I played with her. Well, I've been playing with her since, yeah, for like 20 years or yeah, something like that. Yeah, because like when you were a yeah. kid. And then, mm -hmm. so I played very, I played with, you know, jazz, famous jazz people, you know, Lonnie Smith. I played with, you know, Joy D. Francesco. I played with, you know, oh, I made a list. Guys. Yeah, I played with some people and loved doing that. But And I've loved doing it. And you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't, uh, I mean, I did, I did my homework oh, here, man. here, but, um, I mean, Dan's played with, let's see, Joey DeFrancesco, Lonnie Smith, Les McCann, Javon Jackson, Karen Allison, Benny Golson, Jeff Hamilton, Gerald Clayton, John Clayton, and Terrell Stafford and Ingrid Jensen. Yeah, I mean, I could go, you know, I mean, I've been you to could a go lot of places on, where I played with a lot on. of different people, yeah. you know, in different settings, some more formal, some touring more. And then, you know, I remember one of the fun gigs we did, you know, you see if you remember this, was the winter, was the, was the jazz festival in Colorado. You were touring. And we played, and I flew out that morning and played the gig, and I flew back and played my jazz, the Opus gig that night. I flew to, there was, it was Winter Park. No, it was either no, yeah, Winter Idaho. Park or it was in Colorado, and you were, guys were traveling. Oh, we opened up for, for George you. Benson. Yeah, there was a bunch of people yeah. that day. And there was Bela Fleck yeah. was there. And, uh, yeah, and, 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 yeah, and that was, a, you know, so those things were going on. You were, like, so that was a really fun gig because Patrick asked me if I could do the gig, and I'm like, yeah, but it would be nice if I could, you know, get back and play my gig in Portland that night. And yeah. that was back like you find two plane <laughs> tickets and just buy two round-trip tickets and use the use one of each and, uh, you know, end up flying round-trip for, you know, $100 to Colorado. And then you, you had somebody meet me at the airport and came up and played the gig about one and was home by six and could make That's our, the way we do making it. our $50 That's <laughs> afterwards. <right. laughs> So, so yeah, that was a, one of our fun gigs. I still have that T-shirt. I still wear that T-shirt. Oh man! Yeah, that was well, like a touring date with you. George Benson was uh, was a real gentleman. Oh you know? yeah, and his band is yeah. is really terrific. Yeah, well, you he's know? A, he's great. I read his autobiography recently. Fascinating. What's one of these funky songs we could play, but with was a duet? Do well, you think? Anything you would like? Uh, How about um, well, Cantaloupe Island? We can do like that. that. That's fine. Is that okay? okay. Yeah, let's do that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Dan Balmer. I hope you guys are having a great time. Uh, write, write something in, uh, for us in the comments here. Don't be shy. I hope you guys are doing good.
Oh, there we go. I got that on there. Ah. How about that Dan Bomber, Kelo Island? Yeah. Having a lot of fun here. I mean, we need to play. It's great to play. Thank you. You know what's weird is uh, it's just like that's the thing. Unless you just sit here and play along the records, it's hard to keep your – or in your case, you get to teach yeah, a lot. So, so it's not kind of keeps that's you nice. involved. But yeah. um, uh, for me, it's like, you know, going out to places and playing. Uh, uh, you know, If you don't do that, you just get rusty. So I feel very uh, – you get get kind of rusty, but hey, it's it's great to be here playing with you. Yeah, thank you. It's so uh, to be here. What do you want to tell? What do you want to tell the people? Well, I tell the people to take care of themselves and be careful. You know, don't get sick, and uh, keep you know supporting live music any way you can. You know, come watching Patrick, and you know, and when he's not on, watching somebody else. That's right. Let me say that. Yeah. <laughs> you know. There's a lot. You know, um, you've been on some different shows. Uh, here regionally, yeah. right? What, who, who have you done some live streams well, with? Well, you know, I have my own group. We did one on the 1905. They have a Monday night thing. That doesn't conflict. Uh, Monday night, from 1905, I did my group. I did my Brazilian group, Caminos Cruzados, with Nat Holscamp. You know Nat. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, I've done uh, I've done thing with Tom Grant. I did a duo with Tom and with Trio Subtonic, which is a bunch of uh, talented young guys I get to play with. And, uh, you know, I saw a lot of different people, and, and uh, boy, you look forward to it. I mean, we're used to playing 20 times a month, 25 times a month, and it's like, uh -huh. I've got a gig next month, you know, woo, you know. It's like I, can't I remember wait. one December about four years ago, I had, I think, 36 yeah. events in the yeah. month of December. Yeah, definitely. It was like, you know, you wish you could clone yourself. Now we went to, uh, yeah. um, you know. Yeah. It's, uh, but it's going to come yeah. back. We'll be back. It's going to come back. We're going to be back, and uh, we're going to keep, keep playing music. Keep having fun making the music and being positive, and yeah, it's no good to no good to get down about it. Now I have some of these tracks here that we've you've played before. Yeah, yeah, on, yeah. On um, some of my original music. Do you remember yeah. that song? Do you remember that song? Uh, like Moonchild. Do you remember that? I remember. remember? I remember doing it. There was one we did yeah. an acoustic guitar duet to. Da, ba, ba, dee, da, do, da. You know, it was oh, like, Object of My Desire? Yeah, yeah, we did like a slick duo of that. And that came on like my iPod or something once. And I was like, oh my gosh. Because we did it a long time ago. It sounded great. Yeah. yeah, that's a great song. I'm wondering if I play this, if you could actually hear it. I don't know if you could. Uh, probably. Could you play? We're, here, okay, check it out. We're just keeping this real. So so check it out. See if this. Can you hear that at all? No? No, but I bet it's good. Here we go. How about now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that work? Yeah, that's nice. Anyway, Dan Bomber in the house, everybody. So what would you like to play, Dan? We've got uh, oh, like about 4,000 songs here. Yeah, we could no, play. Uh, I like them all. Oh, how about, play, like, how, how about you song, know that song, Peace? Yeah, I always like to play that. Uh, there's a beautiful song by Horace Silver. I think yeah. we're going to play this entitled yeah. uh, Peace. Hey, you guys... Don't be uh, shy. Write me something in the comments. Yeah, right. Yeah, let me know if I make a mistake or something. Somebody, hey, guitar yeah. should not have played that chord. Yeah, uh, that's so not gonna happen. We're bringing it. We're bringing it. Bringing all our love here. That's right. So here we go. We're gonna do a song called uh, "Peace," and uh, you wanna do a boss it? Howard just surprised me. Yeah, Let's... sounds good.
All right, everybody. So, what do you think about see that? This? Can people see this after it's performed, or is it just once? They can. They can see it. Um, you can sh uh, you can see this on YouTube on my YouTube channel. By the way, we're up to like twenty three hundred subscribers, I wow. think. So, so people can see this tomorrow. Or can yeah, they, they can see it, it tomorrow. Share this on your timeline. Um, and nice if you haven't already, see it. yeah, subscribe uh, and uh, to the channel, and that'll let you know. And make sure you hit the bell. So you subscribe, and then you hit the bell. And that'll let you know, you know, when we, when we do the next show. Yeah, for that sure. You're for sure so spreading the love. That's what that's what we're doing. We're here to spread some love and some music and some just some wonderful vibes with yeah. everybody. So, yeah, if you've got any questions here for Mr. Bomber, write them right down yeah, here. Yeah, I love a question. We got Janice Payne, like a glass of brandy, warm and mellow. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. For that, <laughs> you know. Uh, so so, what else, Dan? What else have you been up to? Well, um, well, I'm getting, you know, I'm uh, we're booking some gigs into the future. Are you got some gigs lined up, and we're hoping they happen? I mean, is that your? I mean, are you booking? Yeah, I've with, got a, with I've got a, you know, it's it's interesting because last year we had so I mean we had a full calendar yes. going through uh, New Year's Eve, which I usually do for the governor's ball. I put on my own event there, and um, so you know we kept booking things, and then like. You know, three a month before they would say, "No, it's not going to happen." So, yeah. so I, know, um, I have a little list of my, you know, I, oh, I'm sure you would have a giant list of you know on my phone, you know, gigs that were canceled, you know, just so I can remember. Oh, oh yeah, we yeah. Use, oh yeah, we do that. Every, yeah, that's something I do every year. Oh yeah, they use you know, it's just so I can remember, and then so I can get back in touch and hopefully we get all clear and go. I was looking back at a calendar from two years ago. It was just like you know, wall, uh, floor to the ceiling. Yeah. And it's just such a such a different Twilight Zone yeah. experience right now. Yeah, no, it is, and 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 like I say, you know, it's not you know, it's not the money, it's the it's the friendship and the music and the hang and the, and the and the free hamburger. You know, yeah, that's exactly. more important to me because I was telling everybody I got asked to do one live stream and it was like, you know, I missed playing for the audience, you know, and that's why these are nice because we got people commenting and it feel a little bit like you got people listening, but sometimes you're doing live stream and you're just like. You know, it's you out to the world, and you wonder. So this is fun, having your comments. Thank you. Yeah, this is your window to the world right there, Yeah, Dan. this is it. Right There's there. The world look, out look there. Look at that. Hi. Hi. Hello, world. There's people world. from all over there. Yeah. So make sure make sure you write something. Don't be a stranger. Yeah, that's um, nice. And, uh, that's fun. This is fun. We've, we've got a lot of different uh, songs we can do. What do you think about, um, like, something? Is, is Take Five, is that hard to do as a duo? That's a little bit hard. hard? Okay. We need the drummer for that. Okay, how Next about... How yeah, about, uh, oh, how about Black Orpheus? Oh, I love that. I'll uh, set yeah. it up. Okay. Welcome out if you're just getting here. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Thank you. 
By that damn a bomber. Perkier than usual. Right on. Got you. You're like a. See, that's the thing about playing as a duo. 
there's uh it's Dan's like a one man band as only he can do. Not all guitarists could do that. Believe me, I played with some and they just you know, they're fantastic. Love them, but it's like you have to really have a great sense of rhythm, har uh, harmony. Oh, thank you. And um, are you guys checking this out? I mean, to, to play guitar, you know, as a solo or duo, you have to. I mean, he's playing the the bass lines, the harmony, the the rhythm, and the melody, uh, you know, all at the same time. And in a very artistic kind of kind of way. Uh, thank you. So, you know. Yeah, I'm trying, you know, and I appreciate, you know, that, you know, I try and always, you know, as a jazz musician first, and then I play a lot of other music, you know, I play smooth jazz, and I've had, you know, success with smooth jazz on my own some, and, you know, play some funk and pop and rock and folk and whatever you do. But as a jazz musician first, I'm always trying to make it different, which is not, you know, it's not what you do. It's not the right thing to do if you're in a pop band or if you're in a studio band. You know, you try to make it just like it was or play the part. But I'm always trying to, like, have Patrick hear something different or maybe we're doing a little different tempo or I'm throwing in different bass notes and different chords. And that's sort of a jazz thing that we're bringing that, that is the art of jazz, which is that sort of high-level conversation we're having. And, and uh, I try, you know, so I'm always taking chances. I'm always flying, you know, without a gnat here. Always, you know, and uh truly in the so, in the moment yeah and you so, know you know it doesn't always work out the way you hope it will but you know a lot of great magic happens so that's what that's what we're trying that's what i'm trying to do here and i hope you're enjoying it and i want to let you guys know that so wednesday nights are going to kind of be my jazz night i know we've done a number of different things um here we've had over eight hundred fifty thousand views total tonight is different in that we just moved over to youtube so um Please spread the word. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll know when our, when our shows are, are coming on. Uh, and then, uh, you know, spread the love around. It's just great. To make sure to write me something here in the comments. So have you done, uh, have you done, so do you do other nights or is this always your night or this is a jazz night or do you have a steady night or do people just have to keep track? I've been I've been uh, sort of playing it by ear, just what feel feels right. Like you just like go, I'm going to do, a, you go like Thursday at seven, I'm going to do it. Yeah. This week, so yeah. you don't have like a regular time. I've been doing Sundays, right? Semi, right. semi we regularly. We talked about a Sunday at one point. Sun Sunday seems like a great day to catch people at at home, yeah. and um, you know if they went to church or sun, Sunday nights are just a nice relaxing. Yeah, that's the time, time for most are, people. people are down, yeah, they down. And so it seems like a good music time. Yeah. You know, for Sunday nights. So, so but. It's interesting because I've been doing, I was talking with uh, a couple of people this last week on the phone about how uh, so much of, of the music that I've been doing has been, you know, a show, you know, so we have, uh, you know, I've got all this music that I've written, yeah. but it's really arranged. So it's really nice to be, or out with Gino Vanelli. I mean, it's very, That's very, very uh, orchestrated, which is yeah. fantastic. It's incredible to the T, but um, it's nice to just have uh, a night that, uh, where you can't think, uh, you know, you and you can just sit down and just play. Just play. Ho hopefully, I remember how to do that. Yeah, well, that's important. You have to keep doing it, or you, you know, and that's why it's good. Like we've been doing some duo gigs before that slowed down, and and getting to do this, you know, you have to, you got to keep, you got to keep, keep. There's a lot of things going on technically and musically. You got to sort of keep all that going. That's why we did that live stream Christmas show. I was so glad to do it because just to get the get that going and playing with the cats that was really nice and if that works out great this year we will be doing that we have several places um that we'll be doing it uh, this coming christmas so you can you can check out uh christmas let's see i've got several different websites i'm trying to remember what they are at christmas i have i own christmas at the old church but we're not using that it's uh, patrick lamb's patrick lamb charlie brown christmas if you want to see dates from that but really just through the subscribing here on the web page you're gonna we're gonna make a lot of announcements of of, of stuff coming up yeah. so so hopefully keep our fingers yeah. fingers crossed we'll be back we did that and doing live, live stream stuff right in here that was cozy yeah that was fun it was yeah. fun to play on that music and uh yeah so it's it's nice and glad you know you're you do make stuff happen and that's you know we benefit from that you know. well i'm a big believer it's like i i think it's important to do what you can with with what you've got you know and that people need to see that, of course, in a safe kind of way. But people want to see that um, there's hope yeah. and that there's um, a light at, the, light at the end of the tunnel and, and that creativity yeah. still lives yeah. and, and all, that, all of that good stuff. Yeah, so, it, and we'll bring it to your homes if that's what we have to do, and we're doing it. Well, this is a window right to their, their home, so that's wow. the kind of way I look at it. Whoa, nice. Look, look in there. It's a nice it's a beautiful home. sofa. Yeah. So 
So uh, if you have some requests and we know <laughs> it, kind of we'll do it. That. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's better it's, that you're looking into our home here. Yeah, I mean, if you Patrick's think of it that way, it's kind of nice to yeah, have. Uh, this is a window to you. Nobody yeah. can get between us uh, unless, uh, well, they won't. I won't get into that. But anyway. Um, oh, how about one of my favorite songs? We're going to do one more song, and then I'll. I'll end up with some, uh, kick it, you know, kick it off with like a, a bookend with my funk zone. So why don't we do... I always like getting to do the funk zone. i got to do a few of those gigs this yeah. year where we're doing smooth jazz. I love, you know, and some of those tunes we've played oh, for a while, and that's always, fun, you know, yeah. fun for me to do. i got a new guitar that's like super funky sounding. So last time we did, I had this. So anyway, I enjoy that too, and have I had a lot of fun with those tunes over the years. I think we did a last song, the last uh, concert we did together was at the Oregon Garden, it was, right? Yeah, we, and it was, we did the one in, uh, in uh, St. Helens also. Down oh, that's right. This is like outside, there's like, people are like, you know, tw 20 feet apart, yeah. but it was sold out, yeah. all, all six of them. No. <laughs> no, but <laughs> it was a nice gig. Yeah, we're going to do a song called uh, Blue Daniel, and then I'm going to do, finish it off with... Uh, Oh, you need the you need the music for that. Okay, let's do I something love else. That tune too. How about? It's a tune not many people do, and Patrick does, and it's beautiful. And I and I, in my haste, didn't bring my Patrick. How did I call a song that Dan Balmer didn't know? Well, and I almost could. That's impossible. Do it, but I don't want to mess it up. Um, how about? Uh, let's see. How about a, a song called Four? Oh, that'd be great. Is that great? Okay, we're gonna finish off. Um, uh, make sure to go check out Dan Balmer's website and his uh, webpage and danbalmer.com. What else you got? Uh, Facebook and all of that? Yeah, I'm out there somewhere. I'm not, you know, my website is best and, and uh, you know, you can hear, hear me on Spotify and, you know, my records are out there and uh, and hopefully we'll be doing more collaborating with Patrick. So hopefully I'll see you on here again. Oh, I'm so grateful. Thank you, Dan. Uh, so we're going to do a song called Four, and then uh, I'm going to funk it up on a way out, and then uh, we're going to wish you guys a great night. So make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, share this with your friends. Thank mm -hmm. you.
right, I can hear all of you clapping out there. How about a big hand for Dan Balmer? Dan, thank you so much for being here. I'm going to do one song here on the on the way out, uh, if you don't mind hanging out for one, one minute. And then we're going to say uh, goodnight to everybody. So, hey, thanks for being here. Hey, I want to let you know that um, I give all of the contributions that come in here to uh, my guests. So anything you want to send in goes to Dan Balmer. Uh, wow, so. that would be wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's all on the. I think the bottom of this this listing, uh, you know, Cash App, Venmo, all that kind of stuff. So you guys rock. All right, I'm gonna do a couple of. I'm gonna do a song here um, on the way out. Send it out to my grandma. This is called uh, Grandma's Hand. So check it out. Take it to church.
Thank you so much, everybody. You guys have absolutely been fantastic. We had a great, great time. Oh, let me turn uh, t let me turn on uh, Dan here. Here we Thank go. Thank you. Yeah, tell your friends to check it out. Got any guitar player friends? Say hey, check out that. Yeah, we had a fun time playing, making music for everyone. And yeah. I hope people keep watching the show. We'll watch it again. This is going to be kind of jazz night uh, here here at my studio. So so next week we have John Stoll is going to jo join me. Uh, here at the studio. So Wednesdays is going to be kind of unplugged. Yeah. I'm so grateful to have you here, Dan. I look up to you, just an awesome musician, highly respected, uh, especially by me. So I'm super Thank grateful you. that you're That's here. Great, great job. I've been enjoying that we've been getting to play more the last few years, the last couple of years. That's great. Yeah, anything you want to say out to your fans? Uh, oh, just out great there? to meet you, those of you I don't know. Thank you. And it's nice to be here with Patrick and, and uh, take care of yourselves and tune on in again. And hopefully, I'll be back again. And hopefully, we'll, you can see us out and around live before too long. I hope so. And so, yeah. Wednesdays, uh, Wednesdays is going to be jazz night here. It's going to be unplugged. And Sunday, I'm going to have my funk show on this Sunday. Okay, so make sure to subscribe, uh, hit that bell button, share it with your friends. We're going to ramp this up to greatness. And uh, other than that, I just want to say uh, we send our heart, uh, good feelings, good vibes, good love out to all of you out there in the universe. And uh, thank you for, for being here. If you want to contribute, all the contributions go to my guests, artists. So that covers Dan Balmer. And uh, thank you in advance for that. There's been a lot of people like Carol Holden, um, Carol, Carol Anderson that's uh, been uh, contributing. It's a lot of our honor roll people. So I just want to thank you so much. You guys rock and uh, stay in touch. And until next time, you know, I hope that uh, you guys stay safe out there and are being good to yourself and thinking, uh, thinking those positive thoughts, you know what I mean? So, all right, you guys. Well, uh, God bless you. Good night. Good night.